What's up guys and welcome to Coach Sean's Kitchen. Today we're making smoked salmon. If you have ever bought smoked salmon at the store, you know that this stuff is stupid expensive. It's loaded with added sugars, oils, coloring, and what's craziest, half the time smoked salmon isn't even smoked. They just add smoke flavor, whatever that is. Yum. Normally smoked salmon takes days or even weeks to prepare, but I'm gonna show you a trick so you can get it done in an afternoon. Let's get going with our smoked salmon, doing it homemade and healthy. The first thing we need for our smoked salmon is a brine. So into mine, I'm gonna put some stevia, some brown sugar stevia, salt, peppercorns, and then some vodka. The addition of alcohol is what makes this smoked salmon cure so fast. Let's go ahead and whisk it up and then our brine is done. Let's grab our salmon. I picked up this whole filet at Costco and I always ensure that I get the Norwegian salmon and not Chilean salmon. Norwegian salmon is so much healthier and more sustainable. I'll put some more information in the description below. And while you're there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so I can keep bringing you these homemade and healthy recipes. Next, I'm gonna get a vacuum sealer bag so that I can cut it the exact length of my salmon. Once done, I'll slide in my salmon pour in that brine, and I'm good to go. I can park my salmon in my refrigerator for four hours, flipping it every hour to ensure both sides get brined evenly. Today, I got my Traeger grill full of apple wood and set to smoke. Once the pit is up to temperature, I'm gonna take my salmon, rinse it off, pat it dry, and then I'm gonna lay that whole salmon on my smoker. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of seasoning. Today, I'm using Halo and Cleaver's Bee Sting. This is gonna add some great color as well as flavor. Then I'm gonna shut my Traeger grill and give it a good hour on that smoke setting. Once an hour has elapsed, I'm gonna take my smoker and bump that temperature up to 225 degrees. Then I'm gonna let it go until the thickest part of that salmon temps at 140 degrees. This salmon is spot on, let's pull it. As you can see, this salmon came out perfect. Great color on the outside, a good amount of smokiness on the fish, and those sugar substitutes added some much desired sweetness. So for around $30, we have all of this smoked salmon without any of the additives like smoke flavor. This salmon is great on eggs, on salads, or if I'm craving some carbs, I'll take a bagel with some cream cheese and I'll toss this smoked salmon right on top. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Coach Sean's Kitchen and just remember you can do anything homemade and healthy.